Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions and today I'm going to be showing you a quick look at my modded Forerunner. I have painted it, I have removed the ratcheting piece, and I've upgraded it with some K26. Let's get into it. Alright, so I have my Forerunner taken apart. As you can see I got things in bags, two up there, screws, other parts. And I got these apart. I wanted to take these black parts off. But these pins are way too difficult. I can't get them out. I was able to do it on these, but not the blue ones. Uh, so what I'm just going to do is just take this off because I don't want to black. I don't want to paint these black parts in general. And then I'm also going to sand down the warnings and stuff to make that flat. Get rid of those. I'm going to leave the logos and things because I like those and then give it a little bit of extra sanding just so that the first layer of paint will grip better. Alright, so I got everything taped up. Like I said, I took the logos off of here so they're not going to show up anymore. See, I took them off there and there. Gave everything a light sanding so that the paint's going to hold better. Put some tape in there to, so that it doesn't get painted. As you can see, I got all this taped out here and over here as well. So, I think we're ready to start painting. I'm going to do black on these pieces and then white on these pieces. For the paints, I used this premium paint and primer from Ace. It's a flat enamel black. However, it seemed to peel off a little bit, so I ended up using a Cryon enamel black on top of it afterwards. Then for the white, I used this Krylon Fusion all-in-one paint, which is also a gloss white. And then finally for my top coat, I use this Rust-Oleum Universal Clear Durable Top Coat. After I finished the first layer of all the whites that I wanted to use, I taped off the other areas that I want to paint black. So here's what it looks like with the black sections painted. And then here is also a look at the grips that I did in black. After I was done with all the spray painting, I used some acrylic paints to go back in and do some little details. I used kind of a neon green for the front little notches here to do kind of a light sci-fi effect. And then I added some little black and white accents in the grips and around. And I used yellow for the rival stuff. I've actually upgraded this spring. And we're using we have 13 coils, depending on how you count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and a half. Also, in order to do the 12 coils of K26, you have to cut this a little bit. These parts are right here. So I trim those just a smidge so that the spring will fit over top of it. Also, I've added, I think, like two rolls of Teflon on here as well to help with the seal. I took out the ratcheting piece, which is used to help prime it if you have difficulty priming it. And I took it out because I was closing the breech like 90% of the way and a ball would get stuck and then I couldn't pull it back because the ratcheting piece was in there. So here's what it looks like with everything put back together. I think it turned out pretty good. It's not perfect. There's a few imperfections here and there, but for my first paint job, I'm satisfied with it and I do like how it looks. Now let's head to the chronograph and get some FPS numbers for you. All right, I've got six regular rival rounds and six Accu rounds. We're gonna see what we get. 130. 38. 132. 31. 32. 33, and now the Accu rounds. 35, 31, missed it. 37, 35, duplicate 135, and wrap. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.